All right, I am live. I bet you want to know how to get from zero to a thousand followers on TikTok and be able to advertise and promote your book through TikTok. So that's what we're going to be talking today about. Hi, my name is Ashley with Publish with Ashley, and we are going to get into promote your book. And I am sorry, but um, we're going to see how it goes. Okay. So I have six six tips to skyrocket sales with TikTok. And let me set this in presentation mode. All right. So the first thing to do is create an account. And I want you to choose a simple name that has something to do with your niche. So um, TikTok is going to work best if you pick an audience or a niche to focus on. Um, My example is cats. So let's say you like cat notebooks, cat whatever. Um, That's what I'm going with. Um, I'm thinking of it because I have a cat with lots of funny cat videos that I can do. So whatever you're trying to promote with TikTok, it works best if you can have some sort of video footage that um, you can be that can kind of supplement just like looking through your book or things like that. So my simple name was my silly fat cat because I have a very silly fat cat. Um, And then I select a photo that fits. I would actually put a photo of my cat um, because that makes sense. You're going to add keywords that fit into your niche slash your genre. So um, something might be cat kitten lover shares her passion with you through books. Grab my fun notebooks. So what you only have 80 characters, but you want to make sure that you include that call to action. Now in your bio, you have a link. Um, that's actually, you can link to Instagram or YouTube if you have a YouTube or Instagram tile, but actually in your bio, you need a thousand followers to be able to get that, that link is clickable. So whatever you choose before you get a thousand followers, make it easy for someone to like type in because they're not going to be able to actually click on it. Um, so the idea is to get to a thousand followers pretty quickly so that you can make that link an actual link. Um, so let's see. Do the next one. Okay. So the first thing you need to do after you create your account is I want you to follow related accounts. You need to basically train the algorithm to your audience. And you do that by what you watch. So what you engage and watch with. So you need to, if this in my examples, cats, you need to watch other funny cat videos. You need to engage with other cat videos. Uh, funny cat videos. You need to engage with the cat audience um, and those who create that content. So in this way, you're actually being incentivized to speak with the audience you are trying to gain because they will show your content to someone who has a similar who's the same stuff that you were watching, right? It's kind of like a group sharing thing. We're sharing the things that we like um, with the with our audience. The, you know, they're trying to group your people, right? So to train the algorithm the most effectively, you need to basically watch the same stuff you're trying to promote, okay? So follow like accounts and videos that are the same genre and niche. Make meaningful comments. The more you engage, the more the algorithm will understand who you're trying to speak to. So the more you engage with your audience, the more TikTok understands you. All right. Next, you need to search for a list of hashtags. Search for hashtags and keywords. Includes words that also interest your audience. So here's some example. Make 30 hashtags, about a list of 30. But here's some that I kind of came up with when I searched through TikTok for cats in particular. Cats meow, cats of Instagram, catsagram, book talk, right? Because we wanted to, we're talking about books. People are interested in books about cats, things like that. Book talk, book talk life, kitten, cats of TikTok, funny pets. So what you're trying to do is find keywords like that. The next thing is to make a list of soundtracks and sound content. So you can look around on um, TikTok and see what your audience, like what the people you are trying to share with. So people in your genre niche, what are the most popular sounds and soundtracks that they are using? And you're going to make a list and note those. Um, You're going to want to save those to your favorites so you can use them later. All right. 
The next thing, this is pretty important. I want you to put up 10 videos within the first two weeks. Okay. The reason is, is TikTok's not going to take you seriously if you don't actually put content out there. So you can start maybe searching for uh, hashtags and things. You can actually do that on the internet before you actually create your account. So that may kind of jumpstart this so that you can do some of the research prior. And then once you get your account, you can do some more soundtrack, um, like finding of what ones might work, and then also creating some more hashtags. All right. So you're going to basically have to put those out right away. So put your videos up. Make sure you use text overlays and the soundtracks and cover images that grab attention. You are trying to grab the attention of those who are watching. Uh, you don't just want to sell your book. So I'm going to give you some examples. And I'm going to give you more later. You're trying to capture their attention. So videos of your cat playing or playing on your books. Um, an obstacle course of your cat and your books. So maybe you set up some books and the cat knocks them over. So, right, it's not just about selling your book. It's about your cat interacting with the book, which is kind of funny to people. It grabs people's attention. I can't tell you how many obstacle courses I've watched of cats walking through things. It's like addictive. So people who like cats will do that. Um, so why not kind of promote your book a little bit slyly by doing something like that? Um, I have a video of my cat, play, my kids playing Jenga, which is like a balancing game of blocks on my cat. I would definitely put that on there. Okay. Some other things um, maybe more related to your book is quotes on your notebook. Like if you have quotes in your notebook, that could be something you read and show people. You can also, if you have like funny cat quotes in your notebook, you can read those and show videos of those. Uh, I don't know if I put it on here, but your ultimate time is you're trying to create seven to cent seven to 10 seconds videos. Um, you can do up to 30, but audience retention or attention on TikTok is short. So seven to 10 seconds. So really that's not as hard as you think. Consistency. You have to keep going. Even if you think this isn't working, you have to train the algorithm. The algorithm has to get to know you and be able to show your stuff. Uh, as far as I understand, TikTok works kind of locally. It starts showing videos to like the immediate area where you are. And then if it gets more popular, it will expand. So to get popular, to get those followers, you need to grab their attention and create funny things, create interesting things that your audience would be interested in, not just selling your book. Okay. So you've got to think a little bit of creatively. You post after you've done your first 10 videos, you want to post daily or post every other day. So like I said, the seven to 10 seconds is ideal. You can do up to 30 seconds. Um, so here's some other obstacle uh, thoughts I had. Film your cat wandering through a book of obstacle course for a few minutes, and then you can chop that into several videos. That way it's maybe not as hard to create all those videos. You can kind of chop things up. Um, you can read, just read cat quotes. Um, you can put cat quotes over music uh, with your cat just laying there. Um, you can say something funny while your cat is sitting there. I actually, <laughs> yesterday, watched a bunny on a sofa just sitting there. And all the person was doing was saying something funny, um, like, oh, mommy, let me sit on the couch. Now I'm going to sit here forever. Yes, I sat and watched that three times. Okay, <laughs> so people watched the strangest thing. The bunny wasn't doing anything. It was just sitting on the couch. Um, so you don't have to be maybe as creative as you think. Um, continue to like and engage in videos in your niche or genre. Um, you've got to keep doing that as well. Uh, let's see. Next is content. So here's some other content ideas I had for you, but you want to make sure whatever you do, you use a music, um, the soundtracks and stuff that are popular in genre and fits the tone you're looking for, you know, excited, or if it's quotes, maybe a little bit more serious, or if they're funny quotes, you know, uh, more upbeat sounds works well. So share quotes from your book, flip through your book. So you can actually just flip through your book. Um, you don't want to do that for every video. You want to kind of intersperse like with the cats, you know, cat videos and things like that. Um, you can show your book, book in action. You can actually write in it, right? If it's a cat notebook, you can show someone writing in it. Um, I also thought about um, a little bit, you can be creative um, and do like with the cat videos, your cat just laying on the book, people will watch it. 
Um, the cat, you could actually take the cat's paw and write in the book with a pen, which might be fun to try. My cat's pretty tolerant. I could probably do that with her. Um, and she, you know, give me a dirty look, but she would do it. So people would watch things like that. They think it's kind of silly and funny, or at least grab their attention. Like why is someone writing with a cat paw and a pen, right? Um, you could have the cat sitting with thoughts and put like, you know, thought bubbles about buying your book or about a cat deciding, hmm, I should write in my journal today. You know, you can be as creative as you want to be, but the idea is to capture attention and to get people thinking about, you know, the things they like, which is cats in this case, but how, like, you just want to show your book. I had, um, it was in a different uh, audience. They were saying, I made this really cute book, but no one wants to buy it. Um, and then a few people actually piped in and said, hey, where are you selling that? I would be really interested in that. So just getting your product out there and letting people see it, even if your you know, cat is literally laying on it, um, it, it, it gets attention. And so that's what you're trying to do. And TikTok is all about funny and short and creative. So you can be as creative as you want to. Um, and I had a lot of problems trying to decide, oh, what kind of content could I use on TikTok? But once I started getting thinking about it, it can be like I started watching stuff, right? Like I said, I watched a bunny sit on a couch. Uh, so it's not as complex maybe as you think um, to create the content. You've just got to maybe um, think a little bit differently. So I hope this was really helpful to you. The best way to get out there and get your thousand followers so you can get that link to be able to link directly to your product or to like your author page or something like that. Um, basically a place where if they actually get, you know, to your page or get to view your product that they can actually like purchase it. So you want to make it as easy for customers as possible. All right. Well, I hope this was really helpful for you guys. And I hope that you learned something a little bit about TikTok and got some crazy ideas. My thought process is to get you thinking, thinking outside the box, thinking creatively and to be uh, just engaged. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, I don't see any comments, um, but I will see you guys live next week and I'll have another fun topic. Thanks. Bye.